You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Me too. I'm supposed to be studying for my circular motion physics test, but I'm completely lost. But maybe if everybody's lost, Mr. Marvel will postpone the test. That's it. Let me ask my best friend, SJ, who's an expert in physics questions. Hey buddy, how are you? Who is this? What do you mean? It's your boy, Henry. What? How'd you get my number again? I blocked you. Ha ha ha. I'm doing great. Thanks, man. Anyway, how's studying for that circular motion test? It's a hard one. You're in direct violation of your restraining order. Don't call me again. Alright, whatever you say. Have a good one, buddy. That went well. Let's see what my girlfriend Flora's doing. Hello? Hey baby girl, how's your night going? Have you studied for that circular motion test yet? Hey. Henry, you need to get help. We broke up in grade 6. I haven't seen you for 7 years. Haha, <laughs> always playing hard to get. How'd you get this number anyway? I moved out of the country. Sorry babe, I'm a little bit busy tonight. I'll talk to you later, okay? I never loved you. Babe, who was that? Just some telemarketer. Oh, good thing it wasn't that weirdo Henry. <laughs> that guy's freaking ridiculous, bro. Oh man, looks like all my friends are studying hard. Looks like I gotta study hard too now. Oh man, looks like I gotta feed the family now. Better get these doughs rolling so I can get back to studying. Oh gosh, why are all the food so circular? of circular motion is when an object moves in a circle, then that's like my dough when it spins. Whenever an object moves in a circular path, the direction is always changing, therefore a force must be present. The centripetal force is the force which keeps an object moving in a circular path. Centripetal force can be calculated based on Newton's second law. F centripetal equals to ma centripetal. The centripetal force is not a random force, it is supplied by a combination of other forces. It is equivalent to the net force acting on an object and that net force is directed towards the center of the object's circular path. Let's try a homework question. To calculate the centripetal acceleration of the edge of my pizza dough, we can use the formula A equals V squared over R. In this case, the velocity of the edge of the pizza when I spin it is 1 meters a second, and the radius of the dough is 0.1 meters. 
Therefore, if we plug our numbers into the equation, we get an acceleration of 10 meters a second squared. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm late. I didn't even know I had a lesson today. Today, we're gonna start with Flight of the Bumblebee. I don't know how to play that. I don't even play piano. Too bad. Dang. So what I do? Just play what I was playing. Okay. Henry, your tempo sucks. Oh, what I do? Well, let me take out the metronome. Hey, this reminds me of one of my pendulum homework questions. A pendulum is a weight suspended from a pivot that swings freely. In this instance, when the metal rod of the metronome is not moving because of a horizontal applied force, the, metro the metronome is, say, at 30 degrees from the equilibrium position, and the other force acting on it is the force of gravity. To calculate the tension of the rod holding the circular weight, it is the force of gravity, mg, divided by cosine 30 degrees. Henry, focus. Henry, don't play the guitar. Huh? What? That that damn police to come to arrest me. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 快点快点快点走啊爸为什么警察来追我们呀因为我把刀的店那个老板给射死了因为我不想用二十块钱来付指甲油为什么需要买指甲油啊因为我要去你姐姐的生日派对啊警察这 sharp turn kind of reminded me of circular motion because by Newton's first law of inertia, my body wants to go in a straight line, but the car exerts a force on me as it turns rapidly, causing me to rapidly change velocity. In this case, the side of the car door is the centripetal force. What I am experiencing is what some call the centrifugal force. While it seems like my body is pushing against the car door, it is actually the car door that's pushing against me. Therefore, a centrifugal force technically does not exist. Yo, man. Happy birthday to your sister. Oh, thanks, bro. That's a cool sparkler. Wait, wait. Can I see that? No Let way. Let me see if I can put this in a drill. The velocity of an object in circular motion at a given instant is always tangent to the circle. This sparkler is a good example of this. As the sparks detach themselves from the wire, they do not curve out nor do they detach parallel to the wire. Instead, they detach 90 degrees from the wire and tangent with the circle. Happy birthday to you! Wait a minute, you're my sister? Yeah, Henry, that's why we broke up. Man, that's so weird! No! <laughs> Huh? Uh, oh, what time is it? Shoot, I'm gonna be late for school. Was all of that a dream? I hope so. Uh, well, at least I got some studying done. Let's hope the test goes well.